Yo, what's going on? That's not how I start these videos. What have I become? John was in New Jersey. I don't know where he... He said he was in New Jersey. Um, okay. I don't think he was at a Rocket Fizz. He was at some place in Jersey. In fact, it's probably the name of one of the sodas I'll try because they had like a house, a house brand, a house soda, which is really cool. Definitely got one of them. But we got three... He got me three different sodas from there. One of which... A lot of them are the ones you see at every place that has novelty sodas. They're all the same. They're all the same. But there was three that stood out to me. One, the one that's named after the store that he got it at, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And then there was another one, a Jersey-specific one. And then there was Bazooka. Now, it's bubblegum. We know that. We're, we're all on the same page here. What I did notice just now is that it is branded by Rocket Fizz. So, that means maybe it's not elsewhere or they're the distributor of it, which is different, I guess. I don't know. I've had Big Red. You know Big Red. I don't know that I've had Big Red on the channel because I think, I think I tried Big Red before I started doing these reviews. But you tell me, or I'll tell you, or something. But it could just be like Big Red. I don't think it's a twist off. I'm not about to find out the hard way. You know what? I got this pocket knife here. I want, I'm sure there's a bottle opener on here. Bottle opener? You bottle opener? Yeah, that's a bottle opener, right? <laughs> no, idiot, that's for scaling fish. It might be for scaling fish. Chris tries to figure out which of these hundred things is a bottle opener. When he has a bottle opener on his keys, right in front of him. I've none of these bottle openers. I want to know what that one's for. What's that one for? Not opening bottles. Um, I thought there was a bottle opener on here. Oh, maybe that one? It's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Chris scales a fish, one soda at a time. Okay, that was just not worth doing. Put that back over there. Okay. It's bubblegum soda. Pour some out for the... I saw a guy in New York pour one out for the homies. I saw it. The dead homies. He came out of the liquor store. He had something. I don't remember what it was. He opened it. He poured some on the ground, like on the sidewalk in New York, and then he kept going. I was like, that's it, he did the thing. He poured it out for the dead homies. Smells like bubblegum. What if it didn't? Now, it's been a while since I've had Big Red. I don't think Big Red tastes like this. Or I should say, this doesn't taste like Big Red. Big Red was bubblegum, but you didn't immediately arrive at that conclusion. Now, there's some bias in that it has a bubblegum wrapper on it. And it says bubblegum. Big Red said, Big Red's slogan is, taste it, you'll get it. <laughs> Big Red. It's exactly what you think it would be. And it's carbonated, so it's got a little bit of bite to it. It's actually kind of great. The, I could change my mind by the end of it, but it's it's actually kind of great. I don't know that I'd buy it again, because it's like... I'm sure it's super great for you. <laughs> like they all are.
there's no like bad taste to it. There's no aftertaste to it. It's it's just kind of great. I'm surprised at this joke of a soda being not bad. Always a good thing, right? All right, yeah. I don't know where you'll find this. I don't think he was at a Rocket Fizz, but it does have the branding of Rocket Fizz, which is a store, a retail store. Um, maybe he was, but no, he couldn't have been. There would have been, like, many more pictures he sent me if he was actually at a Rocket Fizz, because you walk in there and you're thinking, this is such an amazing selection of sodas, and you realize it's the same ones you find at any store on the boardwalk or any Cracker Barrel or any other mom-and-pop candy store, and then uh, the magic is gone, unfortunately. Yeah, if you find this one, don't think it's um, don't think it's a joke. It's uh, it's worth trying. That's my takeaway. I finished it. I finished it on the video. Goes down smooth.